Now we're back to learning CapCut. Let me show you a text stroke effect. Let's follow my steps. It's a little bit more complicated than the usual CapCut tweets that I do. But we're going to get through this one step at a time. This is a clip that we use. I press B for the split tool and I shorten it a little bit. Let me just pick like four seconds from the center, from the middle. So this is what we use, we copy it, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And for the top one, it's selected and I use the default layout. I go to video and cut out. Then I use the auto cut out. It's going to cut out the woman that is walking and give it a mask. This should happen automatically in CapCut. Once it's completed, you get this message, auto cut out completed. Let me make the bottom one invisible and you can see it has done quite a good job. It's so the first step. Once you've got that done, make the top one invisible. I will create a default text. I want it to be in between both of these clips. So let me put this cutout on top again and you can see it's in front of the text. I'll make it invisible again and you can see the text on top of the woman. Text is selected and I change it under text basic on the right. I use a different font. It's a good idea to pick a thicker one. We'll just go with this one here. It should be fine for our tutorial. Size it a little bit up. You can also add a bold style. In my case, it's already a black style, so I don't add it. But when you have a thinner font, it may be a good idea to add this bold style. Place it a little bit to the top like this. You want to make it white as a color and then scroll down for this one until you find the stroke option right here. Check the box, open a drop down if it's not opened and add a white color. In my case, I want to have a thinner font because the font itself is already black as a style. So it's very thick by default. Let me use like three maybe. Depends a little bit on the font that you use. So pick your own value. I copy paste this again, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then I put this on top. So this is what we have, two clips, two default text elements. Now I select the one below. So I select the text and the footage below. Right click and create compound clip. So first group. Then I make the two elements on top visible again. That was the cutout of the woman and our text copy. I select the text. I make it black, but you can still see the white stroke. So that's what we keep. And then right click only on this text element. And once again, create compound clip. And now you can go to video basic for this element and change the blending mode right here. Make sure the drop down is open. Click on mode and use screen. And now you can see our stroke. So it's a thinner one. As I've said, pick a value of your own that fits your font. And if we play it, there's the finished effect. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.